Chris, Alex, Hillary, it is always so good to see you guys. Likewise. Um, congratulations on season two. I have to admit, I went into it going, oh, like I really enjoy this, but I don't know if it's going to be as good. Oh my God, it was bloody brilliant. <laughs> Do you guys ever get nervous though when you're starting off a new season going, can we recapture the magic of what we've done previously? This is probably yeah. a, a bit of nervous, but then once you see how excited Peter is about the scripts and how excited he is to get started, you kind of, I don't know, I usually just put all my faith in him. Well, if he's happy, then I'm usually yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. You know? But no, I think there is an element of, it's always like, oh yes, we're going again. You're like, oh, hopefully it's good. Yeah, the read-through though, yeah. I, uh, the read-through is always my favourite day because it's the day that everyone gets back together and we all sit down and read the scripts and it's really, you know, casual. And I think once you have the read-through, then you go, oh yeah, this is great, this is yeah. going to work, you know. And then you put those costumes on. And, <laughs> like, I didn't think it was possible, but they're getting worse and worse oh, and at least man. with you Hillary you can like strip off and you're fine <laughs> at the end of the day but you too like yeah. the hairstyles are getting worse and worse how do you yeah. make them work in your personal life yeah, you, did, you just wear a hat <laughs> yeah, not much personal life it's funny though like I think it's just with me I just like ch change when my hair is like longer and curly when I shave it off I love it for the first while I'm like this is class yeah but then <laughs> not when it's just months and months go past you're like oh can I please <laughs> Because you can't do anything with it. Like, you try and it just stays the same. It's yeah. the same. Very low maintenance, so it's <laughs> handy. Yeah, but then you said that as well. But then we, like you said before, we have to oh, get we have to shave it every, every morning. morning so do you really? Yeah. Every morning, yeah. You've been doing it since 2016. So have you found now that they're slowly and scarily seeping into your everyday life? Do you have some characteristics mm. where you go, that wasn't me before? I find that yeah. I'm quite angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that, that, especially after this run, I really had to kind of consciously let go of the anger that Maraid carries around with her all the time. She's a really, really angry character. And then at the end of it, I was like, I'm really angry. I shouldn't be. <laughs> so I'm like, this has become, this is a, like, you know, I've been melded in with her too much. So, yeah. Yeah, I like to blame, I to blame my kind of stupid moments in real life. I was like, oh, that, that was just Connor slipping <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually quite like, if, if we do kind of get an element of if Jock comes into me a bit, it's actually fine because he's kind of just happy-go-lucky and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I don't mind like, adopting like a few of his traits. Like, <laughs> um, maybe a few of them I shouldn't uh, adopt. But um, yeah, no, they're good cracks. So if I take some of that, that's fine with me. <laughs> I've been stalking your social media and it looks like you have as much fun offset as onset. Do you all hang out afterwards? Like what goes on after Peter yells cut for the day? Yeah, pretty much. You think we'd be kind of sick of each other? Yeah. We probably like a lot of the cast and crew would meet up then at the weekends as well. Like, yeah. Do stuff at the weekends. Because everyone's from all different parts of Ireland as well, yeah. and stuff. So everyone's in Cork. We were so going we to festivals. Like, we were went all together yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we loads of gigs during the yeah. summer as well. That's yeah. Really yeah. Crack. yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. as well because we've been split up for so long. Like the lads have been in college, and I've been off having babies. So it was really great to actually <laughs> yeah. come back and you know have fun together. Talking about social media, I was really disappointed when I saw a post on yours. Hillary and it was the last day on set and you actually said goodbye Maraid McSweeney it's been a blast down yeah it? so God, it's true but that one through. <laughs> <laughs> well to tell me that it's just goodbye for now and not goodbye forever because there's still more stories to tell oh yeah I think what I meant to say was until next time see you later oh. yeah, yeah. See you it was like an epitaph like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, this one's for you <laughs> That was probably part of me trying to let her go a little bit as well. I probably had to just park her, even if it was on social media, I'll just leave her there. When you made this film in 2016, did you ever think that it would resonate with people outside of Ireland? Uh, I think, yeah, like once we made the film, we just realised that the story was good. <laughs> what, no? no, he just went, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think once it went on Netflix, actually, that really opened yeah. it up. And we got feedback from all over the world that time, so. Yeah. That's when we kind of went, oh yeah, this is this is something special, this can travel. What's been your favourite thing so far that's come out of your whole Young Offenders experience? I think the friends for me. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I feel like we could, we could go anywhere in Ireland now and uh, so I think some of the cast or crew are living there, so. Yeah. We've all there. Yeah, the friends. You're just saying with free accommodation all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I haven't paid for yeah, anyway, yeah. I'm going to stay at Chris's house in London, yeah. I'm going to yeah. with him in Dublin. Yeah, so, yeah. it's Great. great. I call people still trying to be a part of the show because I remember when I spoke to you last time, you said you'd be filming 
and people would try and accidentally be a part of a scene that's going on. Are yeah. you still having problems trying to push them back and tell them we're actually yeah. filming right now? Yeah. yeah, I think that they've taken so much ownership of the show mm. they feel like it's part of Cork now. So they, you know, it, they feel like they have the, the right to stroll on. And, and it does work for them do. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It does work. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> like, yeah, just put them in. Yeah, we yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've met amazing people yeah. like just randomly on the street that have ended up in the show. Yeah. I think that's yeah. kind of part of the whole ethos of it. Outside of the show. What's going on with you guys? Um, I know you were in college last time we spoke. Yeah, you've well, gone off. <gasps> Congratulations! Yeah, thank you very much. So now what? <laughs> big bad world. Uh, <laughs> now what? I'm in a play in the Gaiety in January. The Lieutenant of Inishmore, the same play Chris was in in London. So same part as well. Talking about London, Olivier Award winner. Um, you're going to be in 1917. Mm -hmm. There's Pixies. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. Um, and look at you getting all shy and embarrassed. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Pixie was something we did. I shot as well. It was nice. Was was during the Young Offenders got to go up there for a few days and she looking was up like Jock. There was lots of hats. So I, you know, <laughs> I, I wear hats in every scene, but it's it's the character. So that's <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So there's a few bits and stuff. I mean, 1917 was one of those things I was just so happy to be a part of, of such a minor part in that, but just being on set like, because it's a, almost like one take. So it really just like anyone that comes into it is only there for like, literally on screen for about two three minutes gone. But it just mainly follows George and Dean who are playing the two leads. But it just, I'm very excited to see that film. It just looks epic. Yeah, can't Absolutely. wait. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And Hilary, what's going on with you? I have just been cast in Amy Huberman's new season of Finding Joy. So I'll be doing that. Oh, oh my God, yeah. that is amazing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. do you know what? I am so thrilled that life is going so well for all of you outside of Young Offenders, but that you've now told me that this is, fingers crossed, hopefully not the end of the Young Offenders. So you can all go off and do your own thing, but promise that you yeah. will come back yeah. and give us more of this. Need a job. Yeah. <laughs> As always, such a pleasure, guys. Thanks a million. <laughs>